Get your team ready to move. Hey there, I'm LaMonica Garrett, and I play Tucker, a quick reaction force operative in the thrilling new series, Special Ops Lioness. Today, I have the privilege of giving you a behind the scenes look at your new favorite espionage thriller, starring Zoe Saldana, Liza de Oliveira, Michael Kelly, along with Morgan Freeman and Nicole Kidman. Special Ops Lioness comes to us from Taylor Sheridan, creator of Yellowstone Origin series, 1883 and 1923, along with Tulsa King, and mayor of Kingstown. And much like these excellent series, this show promises entry into a rich and expansive world. Inspired by an actual US military program, this action-packed series follows the life of Joe, played by Zoe Saldana, while she attempts to balance her personal and professional life as the tip of the CIA's spear in the war on terror. Get packed, we leave 0600. Special Ops Lioness asks the question, how far are you willing to go protect your country. Coming up, we'll hear from my talented co-stars who'll introduce our cast of characters and tell us how they each fit into the brutal world of Special Ops Lioness. Plus, we'll find out what it was like for stars and executive producers, Zoe Saldana and Nicole Kidman, to work on this series both in front of and behind the camera. So let's take a peek behind the curtain and find out how Special Ops Lioness was brought to life. To bring this world to life just gives me goosebumps. One word to describe Lioness, it's powerful. Lioness is based on a real life CIA program and follows two members of the Lioness engagement team, an elite group of young female Marines. You'll do. Who carry out critical missions in hostile foreign territories. It's about these women that are in the field. It's their stories, but none of this is simple. These types of missions shows the danger involved and what dedication it takes to carry through. Someone who's going to get that person close to the target so that they can then say, this is where the target's gonna be, and then the US can deal with it how they're gonna deal with it. The show has themes of managing duty and service of country and service of life, and whether or not we all have what it takes to live in that kind of Duality. One of the things that makes this show different, you see not just the action of what the people in the CIA are doing abroad, but you also see their home life, and the home life is not told in one-dimensional characters. The series is about a suspenseful, nuanced look into the war on terror. Walk us through your decision to call the drone strike. I chose to protect my team and the sanctity of our operation. The quality of the stars involved, Nicole Kidman and Morgan Freeman and Zoe Zaldana, I do not think you will be disappointed. Zoe and Nicole are leading the ship, and that means something. Thank you very much. The idea of it was what was so fascinating to me. I thought that was just so compelling. So I'm very involved in shaping the feel of the series. I felt like if I join, I want to be an executive producer because I just want to have the kind of control that I've never felt before. Being an executive producer on a Taylor Sheridan show is very empowering. This show's full of badass women. It's a dream come true to get to come in and work with the best of the best. There's zero fluff involved in it. There's zero uh, kind of grandiose. There's zero heroism in it. This is not an ordinary CIA thriller. I don't think that there's anything been like this on TV. There's action and romance and deep layered characters. The show explores love, loyalty, the fine line between what's just and unjust. Hopefully this show is indirectly portraying real lives, real women that are doing it every single day for us. Expect the unexpected with this series. And hold on, because it's a ride. A teammate who has your back is essential on intense missions, where one mistake could cost you your life. You need someone skilled and with keen eyes who's quick to action. Speaking of loyal allies, time to meet Joe's highly trained quick reaction force unit, who serve as Cruz's family in the field. Now, I'm lucky to play Tucker, one such ally. And I'm so excited to show you the dynamics of our special ops lioness team. We'll also meet Aaliyah, the mark at the center of Cruz's mission, 
and we'll be introduced to Joe and Caitlin's off-the-field family, the civilians forced to contend with the constant demands of this unique job. Take a look. What made this show so good for me? It was a great, great ensemble. I played Joe, the station chief of the Lioness program tasked with training, managing, and leading her female undercover operatives. I oversee the undercover military group and my mission to take down some of the world's most dangerous terrorists. And she understood very, very early on that in order for her to save lives, she has to know how to play the game. That keeps Joe sharp, keeps Joe honest, but also keeps Joe loyal. I don't play someone in the program, I run the program. So that's a very different mindset for what I'm trying to achieve. There's a strategic element to pretty much every action that she does. She's got to think 10 steps ahead of everybody. And so her ability to handle that is what you see. Westfield is the deputy director of the CIA. I would say he's a serious, no-nonsense kind of guy. He has admirable qualities. He's always doing what he believes is the right thing. As the cast grew, it was really exciting. You know, we had people like Michael Kelly and Morgan Freeman. There's not much I can tell you about Mullins. He's uh, secretary of state. My job was to protect the president from the fallout. I think in the beginning of the show, Cruz is somebody who is deeply lost. She's just in this awful, depressing place. Cruz is running away from her abusive boyfriend. And as she's doing it, this Marine comes in and, and, and he saves her. I've been out war my whole life. You came to the right place. She realizes that she's had enough. Our little sparrow. Joe contracted our unit to be the quick reaction force. The quick reaction force are responsible for if anything goes wrong with our lioness, they go and get her. But then the specificity of these individual people, they're not all the same. So they had their different fingerprints. I love Bobby. <laughs> Bobby is the leader of Quick Reaction Force. I think it tells you a little bit already that she's a female and she's a leader of a bunch of badass guys. You have to earn being a leader. It's not just a title that's given to you. Bobby gets the job done, so we have no problem following her. Two Cups is a combat veteran who's had a career in the Army, who is a former infantryman who then was selected for Special Forces. His skill set is unique and eclectic and eccentric. Like all of these guys, Tex is a, is a badass. No one in this show isn't a badass. Trained killer, so to speak. On the surface, he's a tough guy, but there's a lot going on underneath that. Randy's a technical specialist, but he's kind of always looking out for the well-being of the group. I think Randy has that protective quality about him with the team. Tucker is a Marine. He's a Marsoc Raider. He's mechanically inclined is a good way to put it. If we get to a helicopter and no one knows how to fly this thing, give him 15 minutes, he'll figure it out. You obviously have a really big responsibility when you do a role like this. You have to take that responsibility as hard as you can because you're representing something that a country's only founded on but protected by. You see that, yes, they're this badass group of people, but they're real people. They really are a bit like family. Cruz is really excited to be with the team, so I think the reason why Cruz joined the military in the first place is to find a family, so here she is with her new family. You know what she looks like? I know what she looks like. Look at her again. Alia is a mysterious young Arab woman who has roots in Saudi Arabia, and she's also the daughter of a heavy hitter billionaire, which is what affords her her very lavish lifestyle. And it would seem on paper that she has an easy life, but in actuality, it is quite a restrictive life. She lives very insulated, a contradictory one. Neil is a, a surgical oncologist married to Joe, and they also have two children, so Neil is kind of also the stay-at-home dad. I think the marriage to Joe is probably one of my favorite things that stood out when I was reading the pilot. There's all the, the CIA stuff, and you know, you can't talk to your partner about her day. One of the things that's the coolest part of this whole thing is the cast that they put together. I'm like, Taylor, how do you do this, man? Like, this is insane, this cast. I'm just happy that I get to go to work and look at the face of people I've admired for a really long time and get to go on this artistic journey with them. I know anybody would be incredibly happy in this situation. As the brain behind wildly popular series like 1923, Tulsa King and Mayor of Kingstown, Taylor Sheridan hardly needs an introduction. In addition to Special Ops Lioness, 
I also had the pleasure of working with Taylor in 1883, where I played Thomas, a Buffalo soldier tasked with guiding families, including the Duttons, safely along the Oregon Trail. You see, once production begins, Taylor often films an episode in pieces, sometimes with months in between scenes. It feels just like shooting a movie. And for the actors involved, our preparation begins months before cameras even start rolling. For Special Ops Lioness, our hands-on learning came in the form of Navy SEALs who provided combat and weapons training weeks before production. And this prep work not only ensured us bringing authenticity to our roles, but also gave us the opportunity to gel together as a cast. Sheridan's growing portfolio offers complex characters, relatable examinations of the family unit, and a gritty world building. Here's how Special Ops Lioness perfectly fits into his impressive, award-winning series roster. We move now! Chief, we gotta roll! It's that court! Shoot him! When you have a writer that can write like that, you've just gotta go, okay, I'm on for the ride, let's go. He challenges me, but he's passionate, but he's extremely creative and collaborative. Taylor has a way of putting good people in a situation where we could all bond and there's no bad apples. What Taylor brings is a level of excellence. When you mention Taylor Sheridan, people trust his work and actors want to work with him. Before even reading the script, I saw Taylor Sheridan's name. I was like, yes, yes, immediately sold. Authenticity is key. So the least we can do is find that authenticity, get as close as we can, and portray it as real as we can. He ups the ante to go where we need to go to tell this story. He says things, particularly in this one, that we don't really get publicized. I just find that part of it very interesting. Taylor is one of those writers that is just so good at being raw and then and authentic and, and creating these characters in which they're so multi-dimensional. A technical side is understanding that Taylor writes in a form of like a novel. There's a cadence to his characters and the way that they're interacting. I have to make a decision, you understand that? Roger that. Taylor has this grit to him as well. I think he has this way of creating a world that always keeps it grounded. So for an actor, you can just kind of lean back into the writing and the world's going to create itself. He builds that infrastructure in his writing and then kind of steps away and allows us to explore it. About four or five months after 1883 finished, I get a call from my reps and they said, hey, you want to do another Taylor Sheridan show? And I'm like, Taylor, sign me up. Like the character, I don't, even, I don't need to know none of that. Really sign me up. This existed a, a few years back. I was going back to Yellowstone to do a season four flashback. And Taylor at the time had mentioned he has this new show, Lioness. And Zoe was attached at the time and wanted me to read it and talk about it read the pilot, and I was like, this is amazing. You have to know when to trust him, and you also have to know when to trust your gut and call him, because he's always going to be at the end of that receiving line going, I want you to be a part of it. I want you to take pride in this. This is about women. This is about you. And I'm not going to ever act like I know more than you know more about yourselves. I describe him as though he's sort of quicksilver because he can move in many different areas, but when he says he's gonna give you something, he gives it to you. And that was exciting to me because I work in all, with all different people in all different genres. This was a very new genre for me, and I wanted to be in that Sheridan world. Some big themes that Lioness explores are call to service, relationships, and resilience. And I think that's something that we all deal with, and I think that Taylor is one of the best at being able to show all of that and make it this real feeling thing. You can go into a Taylor Universe show and you know what it's gonna be. You know it's gonna be, you know, top quality, the greatest people that from production designers to cinematographers to actors, there's something about them that everybody wants to come play in this world. Special Ops Lioness places three strong female characters at its center. Joe, Cruz, and Caitlin. These three women serve different but vital roles within the program. Joe as the leader of the unit, Caitlin as Joe's senior supervisor, and of course, Cruz as the Lioness. 
But a woman can't become a lioness without proving herself on extreme levels. Follow along as we learn the ins and outs of the program and take a look at the metal and preparation needed for someone to join the ranks of such an elusive league. What is a lioness? It's unbelievable. She's tasked with befriending the daughters and wives of high-profile targets. If they can get close to the bad guy, they can keep up with the bad guy. And the task is to call strikes. Some may consider that cruel and outside the lines of what's just. What do you think? I think if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, ma'am. These women are in the field. There's a compartmentalizing required. There's an ability to make decisions under extreme duress. As I read more and more about it, I was amazed. I want the people that watch this show to say, oh, okay, they did their homework. And every day they go unseen. I'm just happy that we're giving these women this kind of visibility. What Taylor's done is taken that seed. He's taken that real story and expanded it. Our lioness, there's more required of her. She has to be tough, highly intelligent, extremely physically fit, capable and ruthless to accomplish her mission. They have to go through an enormous training program, but there's still an element of risk. I think Cruz is a good fit for the program because she's very committed. She's physically strong, she's emotionally strong, and she doesn't take no for an answer. She doesn't break. You want to break a record for me? Yes, sir! Come on, come on! Cruz goes deep undercover. She gets thrown into the mission right away, but she doesn't back down. At the end of the day, she has to serve her country and her mission. It's not your average person. These are people with crazy amounts of determination, grit, toughness. This operative is willing to be a sacrificial lamb, so to speak. You mess up out there in the field, the lioness messes up, they're dead. And that means sacrificing themselves for the mission. When we talk about collateral damage in the case of the lioness program, they may be it. It's badass women in the military. The cost of you making a mistake is too high. One wrong decision could mean your life ends. If you can't do the job brilliantly, you shouldn't be doing the job. And that is a hard truth. She's in. I'm LaMonica Garrett, and it's been an honor to take you through all there is to know and anticipate about Special Ops Lioness. Thank you for joining me and enjoy the show. Are you close? Closer than we've ever been. Contract agent or lioness? Lioness, sir. We locate the wives and daughters of these high value targets. You made it! Told you I was coming. And we place an operative close to them and we kill the target. If we play this right, it is over before it's begun. There's really no means to abort. We'll get her killed and expose the entire program. Our asset is embedded. We don't have the ability to call her off. We move now! Her cover's low! It's that core! Shoot out! So we're just going to pretend that a CIA quick reaction force did not execute a kill mission in front of CBS News. Walk us through your decision to call the drone strike. She was dead either way. I can't do this. You need to remember what you're fighting for. 